doing this, Scott Cobb, the moratorium, and Senator or Representative Lyman Berman. Berman. It's such an honor to be here to show that these photographs here. I've always shown them in places where people have been very receptive to them. And, and this is the first time where I'm not preaching to the choir. You know, this is where they need to be. This is where people who make decisions are, and this is where those decisions are being made today. So thank you so much for allowing me to do this. You know, in the past, we've fought to abolish the death penalty, and a lot of our efforts have been in looking at the inmates and saying that we should not execute these people because we're killing innocent people. That's, that's pretty damn good, and we should continue to do that. But now, we must embrace an, an, an additional effort, and that is to look at the victims, family, and loved ones. And we must never execute these people in, in their name. You see, as you know, in Texas, the district attorney will very commonly ask for the death penalty because the victim's family and loved ones need closure. I'm saying, and we must say now, that that's a horrible thing to do because if we put the guilt and the blood of that person's execution on the victim's family's hands, it handicaps their ability to love and forgive that person in the future. See, guilt is a horribly complicated thing. We must never deprive anybody of their, inhal their inalienable right to stop, stop suffering. And the only way we can truly stop suffering is to love and forgive those who have caused that suffering. So we must never use the victim's suffering as justification for the killing of a human being. We must now teach our society that the victim's family and loved ones, their pain is inevitable, but their suffering is optional. And I've always reminded of the person who motivated me to take these photographs, and that was, of course, Carrie Cruz, the 16-year-old girl who was definitely abolitionist in Denton, Texas, who was raped, tortured, and murdered, and still maintained her convictions about the death penalty. Everybody who knows Carrie knows that she was the kind of person that still amidst all of her suffering that she still maintained the truth that we should not kill the offender. So when I know Carrie Cruz, the one who really initially said years ago that the only way we can truly stop suffering is to love and forgive those who have caused that suffering, I give this exhibit to her memory. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. 
everybody please come down here this exhibit is going Monday through Friday till the 22nd it's open all day you can come at night and uh, there are 16 photographs of people on death row and you will definitely uh, it will definitely be worth your your time to come down here to the Capitol all right thanks a lot <laughs> 